Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Weekly Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. This is episode 1309, recorded April 9th, 2011. What a box of crap. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Go to My PC. Think remote access to a PC or Mac is complicated? <laughs> Think again. It's easy with Go to My PC. For your free 30-day trial, visit go to mypc.com slash gizwiz. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed to your PC, Mac, or TV instantly. Plus get DVDs by mail in about one business day. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And now, get ready for Dick. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz. Starring Dickie D and Leo Laporte. It's time for the Weekly Gizwiz with Dickie D and Leo too. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz Weekly. with the gadget of the day. If you've been listening to Humorless Podcast Daily, Weekly. even once in a while, you should not listen to the Daily Gizwiz Weekly. without first consulting your healthcare professional. Discuss your general sanity with your doctor to ensure that you are healthy enough to engage in comical activity. If you experience chest pain, nausea, or any other discomfort during the Daily Gizwiz, seek immediate medical help. The most common side effects of the Daily Gizwiz are headache, facial Weekly. Pain, upset stomach, blurred vision, bluish vision, greenish vision, paisy vision, vision loss, balding, I see hairline, blurred hair, bluish hair, greenish hair, pain hair, loss of feeling, loss of limb, leprosy, cataract, ring continental, and warts. In some instances, those who listen to the Daily Gizwiz report dizziness or even death. If either occurs, call your doctor right away. If you experience jocularity that lasts for more than four hours, although rare, it is important to seek immediate <laughs> medical help. So remember, make the Daily Gizwiz part of your day. You'll be mad you did. So Everybody, it's time for the Daily, Weekly Daily Gizwiz. With Dickie Deep and Leo 2. It's time for the Daily, Daily Gizwiz. With the gadget of the day and wait for you. It makes its own grave and it's true. I'll be here. That's a I love that. Hello, Diggy D. Leo, how are you, pal? I am great. And thanks to, I, you know, was that Paul Minshall or Dan Luters? I don't know. You one know, of I, one of our great songsters for that incredible Daily Gizwiz <laughs> theme, which we now have, have got to amend to make the weekly Daily Gizwiz. The weekly Daily Gizwiz. It feels like I haven't seen you for a week. I know, but it's really only been seven days. Yeah, yeah. strange, it goes, isn't it? Goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I forgot to ask? Did you check out the Think Geek April Fool's gadget? Oh, gadget gadgets! They did a gadgets. bunch of them. Now, one of them, it almost seems like they're going the other way. We know that. Many times now, they've done a, a an April Fool's gadget, and people say, oh, I like that, I like that, and then they make it. Yeah. I I thought the Play School Apple Store... Oh, wasn't that great? Almost seemed like something Play School says, hey, we'd like to come out with this for Christmas. Why don't you make it the April Fool's joke? Oh. And we, you know, just, just, just a thought. Just a thought. I wish they would. I mean, they did, you know, they had the uh, lightsaber popsicles... They had the, uh, I, I really enjoyed the Angry Birds pork rinds. <laughs> uh, the uh, the oh, T-shirt. Oh, they're not real? <laughs> the T-shirt with a plate built in so the you can that was very funny. lie on your back and eat your Cheetos. But I have to say that of all the things, now in the past, some of these have become real. Remember, they did that Tauntaun sleeping bag and that became real. And well, the, the one at CES uh, this past January making your iPad into a desktop video game, arcade game. Right. Yeah. And so that's that's for sale. But this this seems like you're absolutely right, Dick. This could totally be a real gadget with one 
There's one reason not. By the way, we should just say, if if you're not watching the video, it's a Playmobil set. Those are the little plastic, you know, sets of fire stations and grocery stores that have little plastic Police people station. in them. Yeah. yeah, kids love them. My, my kids have Playmobil their whole childhood. And this one's an Apple store, so it has an upstairs and a downstairs. There's the keynote theater in the upstairs with the Playmobil Steve Jobs. You can even slot your iPhone in for the screen, and you can even download keynote presentations from the Playmobil website. And, and one of the options is you can buy lines of people to stand outside <laughs> when they introduce a new product. they got little mini MacBook Pros at the Genius Bar. They've got little mini iPhones iPads on the tables there, even places for the kids to sit. And, you know, one of my favorite things, if you if you look at the line, there's this mini Steve Jobs with his blue jeans. And so his, what's, what's the one thing you said that... that oh, I'll there's tell the you, there's the line of people. And look who's on the first of the line is, of course, Steve Wozniak on his Segway. On, yes. Isn't that great? Here's yes. the reason I don't think it's possible. Apple okay. will never approve this. Oh, Apple would have to approve it. I, w I oh. would buy it. Okay, okay. See, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, but, I, but, but, you know, I, and this actually raises an interesting topic. I know we're a couple of weeks after April Fool's now, but, well, a week anyway. But um, you do April Fool's, or, do, or don't you? No. Well, you know, normally, you know, we, we would invent something for the Daily Gizmos. We did for a few years, right. but we didn't this past time. But in your, like, regular life, do you pull pranks? Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah. What, what do you do? No, I'll just say to somebody, you know, I'll pick up the newspaper and, and say, oh, I can't believe that Charlie Sheen has his own late night television show. <laughs> that's, and go, Are and, you kidding me? And that's and what go, I was saying. Actually, yes. The best, the best April Fool's joke is one that's plausible. Yes, that, absolutely. That could almost be true. I read a great story about a guy who knew that his wife on her iPhone had AP breaking news. You know, if you have the AP application, the news application, yes, yes, yes. you get a breaking news alerts. So this is a, such a good hack. He changed her, he changed his contact entry on her address book for his name. He changed it to AP breaking news so that when he texts her, it appears not to come from him, but oh. from AP breaking news. And then he texts her, uh, Government admits Area 51 aliens were real. President Obama will be holding a press conference at 1 p.m. today. And he texted it to her. <laughs> and, of course, she looked at it. It said AP breaking news. Yes. Government admits aliens. Obama, pre it was very credible, except it was. Wow. And she said, you should have seen her mouth drop. <laughs> <laughs> Now, was he sitting there opposite yeah, her? Yes. Sent, yeah, that's very funny. That is that's such great. a good hoax. That's brilliant. So yeah, I love that's... these where they're not mean, they're just plausible. And I think, yeah. think Geek does the best April Fool's jokes anyway. Yeah, Those yeah, are just wonderful. Good. They do such a good job. Well, nothing in today's show, one of the reasons we saved this conversation till April 9th is we don't want you to feel like we're pranking you. Because some of the stuff we're going to talk about really does seem like a joke. Uh, well, in a way, in a, <laughs> in a Often way. Often our gadgets are so crappy, they're, you know, you believe they're well, a you joke. you know what the, uh, are you talking about my first crappy gadget? Or your second one, could be your third one, <laughs> or your fourth one. It could be any of the above. Oh, okay. We do I have, assume you have something decent then no, that'll bring no, no, the no, level no, of the no. show up a we, bit? <laughs> no, never. We do, <laughs> never. Oh, okay. We do have okay. four great gadgets for you. And, uh, I, well, let's oh, kick well, it let's off. Like, oh, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said this was not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> oh, oh, we're telling the truth now? <laughs> we're telling the truth, right. yeah. What do you got for your gadget number right, one? Well, okay, well, you know what? I love my Timex data link watch you do and i and i don't i can't believe it but you do yeah you know because i don't I, unlike you i there are days i just leave my cell phone home but in my data link watch <clears throat> i have all my phone numbers i have combinations to to several combination locks that i have at the gym uh, so i need it and my data link watch stopped accepting data you hook it you type the data on your computer hook up a usb cable and the information goes into the watch and this watch is, was discontinued oh, six or seven years ago and when i heard they were discontinuing discontinuing it i bought a spare and so this one gave up i got out the spare but the spare came with this 
crappy Velcro band, and I liked the aluminum band that was on mine, and I thought I would switch it, but the, the band is made sort of as part of the watch. It was a nightmare to get it on and off, and I thought, someone must make a tool to make uh getting watch bands on and off and shortening links in watch bands, they must be a tool to help. No so I went kidding. To I go to a yeah. jeweler and, uh, and he died, so I don't know what to do now. <laughs> okay, so you go to Amazon <laughs> yes. and I bought... <laughs> you know, it sounds, sounds like a horrible black joke, but it's not. It's actually what happened. There was a guy oh, down the really? street. Oh, really? Seriously? Oh, he okay. Would, okay. Anytime I bought a watch, because watches are always, they come sized for bigger people, so they always have them take links out. The battery's dead on this watch. I need an update on that. and uh, I would bring it, and he's passed away. He was, he was, he'd was he been there for uh, a long, long time. It was one of the Well, you know what, Lee, if you stores. need to know the time, just call me. Well, can I can't, well that would really save me some, some Yeah, would you? Yeah, yeah just yeah, call me, because my, my, uh, my data link has the time. <laughs> uh, or turn around <clears throat> and look at your atomic clock right behind yeah, which is another solution. Oh, interesting. It might be easier. That's yeah, a thought. It's just, it could be easier. Mm. So um, I went to Amazon and I bought the 16-piece watch repair tool kit. What? You could? You don't have to be a registered watchsmith to get no, this? No, no. You have, to, you have to have a registered credit card or a PayPal <laughs> account. That's about as far as it goes. So I get the 16-piece watch repair kit, but there's something kind of unique about it. It's in a clear plastic sleeve yeah. with nothing written on it, uh -oh. no instructions, uh -oh. nothing. You're just and supposed to know. Uh, I, well, I read you all the comments, and most people say, this saved me 10 bucks. I replaced my own watch battery. I put the band on. But it would be nice if there were some instructions someplace. <laughs> now, someone at Amazon must be very mean, or I guess they don't want people to know where they get the stuff. The guy said, my, uh, my little plastic uh, bin had a name on it and a website where the instructions are. And it says, and that website is, and it's blank. All they, all, all is there is dots. It's like oh. someone shot them, you know, like, right. and the website <laughs> is. <laughs> so anyway, I was able to use it. I, I'll, I'll show you. I know, I figured out just how one device works. Is you lay the... A chain, the, the uh, band in here, and you unscrew this guy, and you line the band up, and as you screw this in, it pushes the link through, the pin through, so that you can unattach links in the watch you have. Are they all individual stainless steel links in your watch? Yeah. That you're trying to take out? Actually, okay. they're titanium. Ooh. Ooh. Well, this little tool is the link remover tool. The link removal tool. Okay, and that I found out by doing a web search. This yeah, otherwise, no you look at them. What is that? That's what puzzles yeah, me. I have, you know, I could use this as a what the heck is it gadget. No the kidding. problem is I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> right. Oh. It, comes, so, it comes with the kit. It's right it there. It comes with the kit. I have no idea what it is. So you still don't. Have, Wait a minute. I have no Wait a idea minute. Chat room. You must have a watchmaker in the chat room. Oh, let's ask them. Yeah. What the heck is that thing? What the heck is It looks that like you put you put the watch in there. It's like a holder of some kind. Right? Well, mm, I don't know. I mean, you could straighten the band out and put the band in there, but what does that do? I don't I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. So, and I, mean, I don't the, know the why needle comes nose with pliers, the the tweezers, the little screwdrivers, the uh, those, those are all, you yeah, know, that's self, obvious. The, yeah. the little knife is to pry cases open. Dr. And Mom, I, who does a lot of this work, she does uh, beading and stuff, uh, says <laughs> it's to, it's used to line up the links so you can put them back in place. They have to be in, in line. Oh, okay. So it's a link liner upper. Oh, it's a link liner upper. It's a, or, or Von Dutch, he says it's a daylight savings time adjuster. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. That's very good. Actually, there see, seems to be some that, disagreement we, here. <laughs> we could do that uh, uh, as an April Fool's joke. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Brand new from Timex. Your Timex <laughs> daylight, savings. daylight savings time link Wait adjuster. MacNut says the name of it is, that's called a Zelda. Oh, the Zelda. It's a Zelda. 
the Zelda the and Zelda. the Murray. I think the blue one is the Murray. <laughs> the Murray. You got I a Murray? The, yeah, what does the, the blue Murray. one do? It's got a handle on it. The blue one is for driving pins out oh. of when you want to shorten the watch band. Right. That makes sense. And something I did learn by doing a web search about shortening bands on a watch is that links on a band, the pin can only be pushed one way, and the band has an arrow on it to show you which way you push the link. And I said, this can't be. I've had this watch for 10 years. I've never I've seen banned. an arrow, yeah. But I turned it over, and each link that is removable has an arrow on it. Lo and so behold. Look on your watch. See if there's an arrow anywhere on any of the links. What? That can't be. See? Oh, my God. Well, you see, God. that watch is so expensive that a man comes to your house. Yeah, it would be on the back. A guy comes from Germany to fix it. Yeah. That comes with an engineer. Oh, no, there is an arrow. Oh, my God. There you go. There's an arrow. Look at that right there. I don't know if you can see it, but if I maybe if I zoom in a little bit, uh, you could see it. Okay. There's so if you had this toolkit, which, by the way, is uh, I think I paid uh, twelve ninety seven. The, there you go. The toolkit, you, you put the watch in there and you screw this thing so the pin is pushed in the direction of that arrow. Oh. And that's how you remove that link. Well, this is the perfect size, so I'm not going to do that now. But I do need oh, okay. to change the battery. Okay. To change the battery, we use the this. Zelda. No, what? No, no. This. What is that? Is this. Did you have a little notches on the back case of your watch? Oh. This slides up and down yeah. so that the wrench will line up with two of the notches Got so it. you can unscrew the back. Got it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, there you go. Wow. So it turned out not to be, I mean, the tools are not well made, but as someone said, the first time I changed the battery, I, I pretty much saved the price of the kit because uh, changing the battery was 10 bucks. Having the band adjusted was 10 bucks. Sure. This guy was thrilled. It's a $15 yeah, for, kit. <laughs> yeah, 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 13 actually. 13, so big deal. Yeah, buy it. Now, so I bet you, if you searched, you could find an expensive, well-made one for people. My dad took a class in clock repair, and he, I'm sure he has a whole, a whole kit of this stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, well, uh, the one I have is the 16-piece watch repair toolkit on Amazon.com. We were talking about April Fool's jokes. Yes. Yeah, well, we did have one. Oh, you're not recording, right? <laughs> we had one played at the cottage. Oh. Jammer B. I came in last Friday, April Fool's Day, and Jammer yeah. B had swapped my, <laughs> my keyboard <laughs> for this. This is You've actually probably talked about it. It's a Crayola I think I did. Kids Keyboard. That's very funny. But, I, but Turnabout is fair play. So it's in the yes, drawer and you I do? slide it out. I used it. You know, Leo, firing someone is really not like an <laughs> April Fool's kind of thing. He's no longer with us. No, I know. No, I know. I didn't fire him, but I did keep using it. I used it. I said, darn it. Ah, I'm going to use it. And I used it for the rest of the day, and it worked fine. So there. Oh, great. Great. Yeah, Rolly. It's pretty cute. You know, John is such a sweet guy. He actually left instructions with our office manager, Frederic. He said, when Leo comes storming out of the office, tell him <laughs> this. And he, and he made it so that I could switch it over with a press of the button. So that was very sweet. Oh, but I great. said, no, I'm not going to come storming out. I'm going to do it. So there it is. That's gadget number one, the SE 16-piece watch tool kit minus instructions. Exactly. Yes. If anybody has instructions, would you leave them? Uh, <laughs> leave the link on uh, uh, gizwiz.biz under the picture of, of this tool <laughs> kit. Really That'd be great. Explain it to me, Lucy. Now, our next gadget, uh, as true to form, we've decided we're going to do some... You know, a gadget show should have some video. So uh, each week, Dick is going to make a little video... Yes. ...of... Uh, his gadget, uh, uh, one of the gadgets uh, of the week. So this is more visual. For those of you listening at home, uh, you can always get the video of the show by going to twit.tv slash DGW. Daily Gizwiz. We didn't change it to Weekly Daily Gizwiz for the initial. So yeah, DGW is good. DGW. Or on iTunes, search for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz or on the Zoom store and so forth. So without further ado, here's Dickie D and gadget number two. <laughs> I eat tea. God, they're just awful. 
How did you people get in my apartment? He's turning the lights off. <laughs> oh, this is so, so frustrating. Turn the water podcast acting. <laughs> what? What if you could take these keys and turn them into something neat like that? Ooh. Well, you don't have to be David Copperfield to do it. This is Keyport, okay? Now, Keyport is really nice. You get a slide, this is the slide, and you get six blades. So the blades are ground to match your keys. You can do six keys, three on each side, or you can buy options. And for this demo, I got all the options. There's the bottle opener. There is the little flash drive. Four eight or four eight gigabytes, or and the LED light. And what's neat about the LED light is it stays on while you bring out. Whoops! Let me just go back and bring out a key. So the LED light and the key can be on at the same time. So that's great late at night when you can't see the keyhole too easily. So you get the slider and six blades for. $69 at MyKeyPort.com. And every week, Leo Laporte and I do tons of gadgets. And you can watch us, the weekly Daily Gizwiz, at twit.tv <laughs> slash dgw. I don't know how to do D and G. <laughs> but you can find us, Dickie Bartolo, the Gizwiz, on the weekly daily. That was, that was like watching Death of a Salesman. <laughs> <laughs> the incredible acting at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> so moving. I take these quite seriously. Quite <laughs> so moving. <laughs> yes. um, so let's let's uh, show you on the uh, on the uh, magic screen. This is it. And you yeah. said it is. So you got the price a little off. It's seventy bucks. It's seventy nine bucks, um, and then you, if you have your uh, coded car key, you you can send a spare to them. They'll take the key apart and insert your chip into oh. one of the slides. Oh, that's pretty so cool. Use, yeah, because yeah. um, both both cars now uh, of mine have those those weird coded car keys where they have a chip in it. And so you, you know, that's why it's got that big bulbous thing at the end. So while this would be all right, you'd still need to get that chips on both of these. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, like I said, either six keys or... Well, let me or see how many I have. One. What is that a key to? Oh, that's the key to the new office. That's a key to uh, the filing cabinet. That's a key to my house. That's a key to this office. That's four. And then two car keys. I could do it. I have six total. You could do it. You could do it. And look how big that clunky thing is. I'd love it. Yeah, I know. The neat thing about the slides, that they call them slides uh, that duplicate your keys, is they don't need the key head. Right. And the, the company says the key head is like the heaviest part of your key. The only thing is, Leo, if you get six keys, you can't get that neat little The LED USB or the LED yeah, the, light. Well, the, the USB, you have one. But I, but they, I see you, show, you can what add. Did you a, show me the other day? That, I have that. the Victorinox, which I really, really like. Oh, this is right, the third, right. This is a thirty-two or six. I think it's sixty-four gigs on that. But I could carry that somewhere else. I mean, I have yeah. that in the Tough and Tiny. I have, I you know, whatever that is, a ton of. Oh, people. you know the Tough and Tiny, Leo. The people were in the city and they stopped by my office and they said we have a little present for for me. It's they now have a sixty-four gigabyte. Uh, wow, this is and, only eight. Was it Tough and Tiny? What is it? It's yeah, tough it's, and tiny. it's a verbatim Tough and Tiny. Yeah. And then, of course, see, I have all of the functionality because I have the little LED light. Oh, you do? Yeah. 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 Um, so, but, okay. But so it's a lot could, bigger. Yeah. And it puts a hole in my pants carrying that around. So I'd, that's, now, yeah, that's the other thing. And, and also, they're silent, so they don't, right, make they don't the, clatter, the, clatter. The, now, my keyboard doesn't make do any noise. you have to bring this to some special person to... Uh, you know what, Leo? Uh, on their website, you can uh, actually... Uh, you can send in a picture of you can use your iPhone. They tell you what? Take the front, yeah, I know. Take, I just showed everybody my keys. Are you telling me that now they could get my key ring duplicated from the what video? Is, what are you? Who are you sending the picture to? Well, I'm just, just saying. We just streamed video of all of my keys. Oh, 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 oh. So oh. you're saying that with that picture? You'd send it to them, you take a picture of them, and then they, now they have my keychain. Not like that, I said to what everything opens. 
Um, hmm. I'm trusting yeah. you not to do that, kids. Yes. Now, first of all, Who's listening? Right. Thank God no one. Thank God no one listens to this show. No, no, no one's listening. And who would know how to? Who would know how to do that? Maybe Doctor Mom. Well, I think we just that. told them how to do it. <laughs> I think you're right. Oh my goodness! So oh. you're kidding. So they don't need the physical key. They, you could send them a, a photo of the key. That's all they'd need to make if it's an unusual key but otherwise you can just take the the, the blades to your local locksmith and say oh, okay. duplicate this oh, key okay. I, yeah yeah well this is i think this is actually something i might actually buy it's pretty neat it, it's really slick looking i mean it's a little on the expensive side but it sure is slick looking and comes in some great metallic colors and it it really six keys don't weigh much at all so it's very you, convenient. you can yeah. get uh, the, the uh, four blades plus uh, a USB key plus LED plus a bottle yeah. bottle, bottle yeah. opener if you want. Yeah, I'm not wow. quite sure. I don't need the bottle opener. No, but I, I sure would like the LED light. Yeah, this is that is that is really really cool. Uh, and now that I have to change all my locks anyway, I might yeah well, I might as well just do that. Well, you know what? You can just if the great thing, Leo, is if you lose your key. Just stand in front of your cottage, and as people go by trying to get in, just say, oh, could you let me in my, yeah. This way to the safe, and uh, yeah, just let me in yeah, while you're right, doing right. that. Okay. Yeah, now, do you want to go in the cottage, Leo, or do you want me to open the door oh. to the new building? I have both. Oh, man. It's a good thing I leave my house wide open. Yeah, otherwise. Otherwise, people could break in. That's worry, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So they could just walk in. One of the, that's one of the reasons, you know. Yeah, actually... What? If you do come over to my house, yes, that'll be the day. <laughs> and you decide, and I'm not there, and you want to wait till I get home. Just go over to the TV and turn it on, and you'll find Netflix streaming, and it'll be something you could do while you're waiting. I have been a Netflix customer for as long as Netflix has been around. Originally, of course, it was DVD by mail, but now Netflix is also streaming. I want you to try it free for 30 days. I have the five disc at a time collection because I like to have lots of movies, but you could get no discs at a time for seven ninety nine and get just the streaming. And the streaming's so awesome, it's probably all you need. Go to Netflix.com and click the Watch Instantly tab just to see. These are just the new arrivals here. Hot Tub Time Machine, what a great movie that was. Now, what if you get the urge to watch that in the middle of the night? Toy Story 3. Uh, you All you got to do is fire up your Roku box, your PlayStation 3, your Wii, your Xbox 360, many Blu-ray players, many TVs today, your Google TV. There's a huge number of devices that have Netflix streaming built in, even your laptop PC and your iPad and iPhone. And these are all movies you can watch anytime on demand. And you don't pay an additional fee. It's just that single low $7.99 a month. Season one of Glee. Did you miss it? It's all on there. A lot of TV shows are on there. For the kids, Phineas and Ferb. Uh, I just love Netflix. If you are not yet a Netflix user, this should be all you need to know to run out and subscribe today. It's free for the next 30 days at Netflix.com slash twit. Netflix.com slash I just opening my Netflix. Look at that. You've got your Netflix envelope. Oh, yeah. The I, red I've been envelope. a Netflix fan for about five years. I love it when that red envelope comes, don't you? Oh, it's great. I have. I just have the one a month, but there was a It's not a month, was, I should say. There is one a month, but you probably have one at a time, right? Yes, one at a time. But, Leo, w with the way they do the post office thing, I mailed this out on Wednesday, and uh, I mailed the other one, one on right? Wednesday or Thursday, yeah. and I already got my next yeah. auction on Saturday. It came yeah. early today. And this is, you probably never heard of the series. It was called Andy Barker P.I. No. It, do you know who Andy Richter is? Oh, I love Andy Richter. He's hysterical. Okay. So Andy Richter and Conan O'Brien developed this TV series. It was short-lived. I think there were nine episodes. And it's about an accountant who's fallen down on hard times, and he rents an office in a mall. And I believe the <laughs> office used to be rented by a, by a private investigator, and people come in and, and just ask him to take on this case. And he has nothing better to do. So he goes out and solves crimes. It's very funny. Oh, how hysterical. So, uh, 
This is like uh, well, I love Andy episodes. Richter. So yeah, yeah, you can get that uh, right now. All you have to do is go to Netflix.com/slash twit, sign up for the 30-day uh, trial, and get Andy Barker PI, the complete series. Oh, look, Magnum PI, <laughs> right underneath it, and Ryder PI, right underneath that, and then three ballets by PI Tchaikovsky, right under that. Yeah. And guess what's P.U.? <laughs> it's all on Netflix. Netflix.com slash twit. We thank them so much for their support. You know, when they came on, I said, well, look, guys, everybody, everybody listens to twit has absolutely got to be a Netflix subscriber. And they said, well, you might be surprised. So um, if you're not, let's make it 100%. What do you say? Oh, it's great. You know, I watch them down the bow. You can watch it anywhere. I watch it on my, uh, on my uh, iPad Touch. Yeah, I love great. it. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to show you real quickly because uh, you do the video. Uh, what I'm going to be using, I've shown you this before. In fact, it was one of our picks, I think, on one of the, about 300 episodes ago. But uh, I just got the new iPhone version, of, iPhone 4 version of the Owly Booba. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did do this. Yeah, we talked about and it what before. Did, what did they change? Well, it ha you have to get a new one to fit the iPhone 4 because it's a slightly oh, different okay. configuration. Although there are a variety of cases that will work with it. It does come with a little rubber case. And you slot it into this metal thing. I'm just thinking for you, for the videos you're shooting, what do you shoot the videos with right now? Uh, I'm shooting with the Vado. Okay, well that's probably Big good. Creative Labs, yeah. Uh, watch, watch our live coverage from the National Association of Broadcasters show, the NAB show this week. Because what I've decided to do, it comes with a. Uh, so you, you you put it into that metal thing. I mentioned this before. It comes with a wide angle lens. Oh yes, yes, right. And a microphone. And what uh, they suggest you put it into, um, and I did this into airplane mode, so that you don't use up the battery or have a phone ring while you're shooting video. But be, the, the, you might say, well, why do you need this? But it gives you a more steady hand on this thing. And this built-in microphone is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around NEB, use the wide angle so I can get really in close on the products, and I'll use the microphone pointed not towards uh, my interviewee but towards me so that I can narrate. And I'm here, oh, that's I'm here at the Pioneer booth, and look what they've got. So we're going to try, try this. I don't know, make one- and two-minute videos uh, out on the show floor, and then I'll bring them back. And I think the quality is so good. Alex Lindsay did this at CES, and I was so impressed by the quality. We're just going to try this. You know, we spend tens of thousands of dollars on yeah. heavy, heavy equipment and on, on cameras and microphones. Wouldn't it be funny if I could just use my iPhone? And that little, would be great. You know what I have coming, Leo? Maybe I'll have it by next week. Uh, Tiffin has the new smoothie. Which is the? Uh, it's like the you know, steady the, cam, right? Yes, exactly. It's the steady cam for the iPhone 4. Actually, they sent me the unit, but they sent me the iPhone 4 holder, and you I have needed a touch. the iPod Touch. Yeah. Uh, so if they get me the holder by next week, that'll be my video of the week or, or, or oh, the good. week after. So oh, good. We'll yeah, we'll be able to compare. Well, I, compare yeah. Notes. In fact, I'm yeah. kind of jealous right now. I wish I had that. Well, anyway, I'll... You can't have everything, Leo. All I got is I got that, and I got my $2 million yacht. I just can't. And you can't have everything. But this is the new Owly Bubo. It's just an update on the one that I showed. Uh, the Bubo? Yeah, it's called B-U-B-O. Well, are you calling me Booby? What did you just say? Booby. It's the new Owly Booby Booby. No, it's the uh, Bubo. Booby. It's a terrible oh, okay. name. The B-U-B-O is what they call oh. it. The Owly Bubo. O-W-L-E. Um, and it's about 100 bucks, I think, including the lens and the microphone. But I think I'm going to get some really good video out of it. We'll see. We'll, we'll find out. I'll, we'll, we'll, you can watch our coverage, and, and you be the judge. Now, let's move along to your next item, Dickie D. Okay. Well, I'm going to start by talking. We were talking about April Fool's Day, and every April Fool, Woot has box so crap. And you John, did it? Did you get it? No, no, no. Your buddy John out there, Jammer B. Jammer B. Uh, you know, I said, so Jammer B, did you get it? And he, he sent me an email and he said, Dick, it took me a half hour because, uh, before I could even try the Flash game. That was the puzzle because of all the traffic. It's so hard it's, to get in on this. Oh, he, I, when you complete a level, another level's added. And there are 10 levels in all. He said, after an hour... He was into the second level, but he couldn't get onto the winner's board because oh, he wasn't man. signed in. Anyway, he put in like two hours. Holy so, cow. I know. So on April Fool's Day, I went to uh, a website called I Have to Have That. And Leo, you answer two questions. 
do you have a credit card and do you want a box of crap? And Leo, I nailed both questions. You got them both. Yay! I got them, I got them both. So my, bo my box of crap came yesterday, and I'm going to ask you if you'll jot that. I don't know what's in it. All I did was slit the box open to save time. And it's a pretty big box, so it's kind of going to be fun. It was 15 bucks. Uh, the box of crap was nine ninety nine, and the shipping was four ninety nine. So it's like fourteen ninety eight. So and let me just uh, bring it up here, show you. It's pretty. This is for, this is it. This is wow. my. That's a box yeah. of crap. That's a box of crap. Well, I'm going to do, I learned this when I was, a, you know, as a parent uh, at kids' birthday parties. Somebody has to sit on the side and write down every gift that little Johnny gets. So I'm going to write down every gift that little Dickie gets as okay. he pulls it out of his box of oh crap. Box of oh crap. Okay. Number one. A burger maker. Make and store individual patties. Holds one pound of meat. <laughs> wait, wait, hold okay. it up to the camera. Wait a minute. You, 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 yeah, yeah, no, this is the, good. The it's, middle it's, of the camera. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so it yeah, forms yeah, the patties good. and holds and, the meat. Wait, let me, you know, let me, oh, you know, it looks like you, oh, I see what you do. I think getting Hang something on. to hold your meat for 15 bucks is great. <laughs> Pass. Okay, so <laughs> you put, oh, what the? Oh, I see. Okay, so you... you oh, those are tiny pound. little square burgers. <laughs> you uh, pound a pound of chopped meat in here. You push this down <laughs> and it on it. It makes four individual patties. Oh, okay. So they're quarter pounders. And then you... Wait a minute. Are they square? Store... Show that. Show that again. They're yeah, square. Yeah, they're square. So oh, I like So it's like burger. Wendy's. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. So this is pretty good. And John's then, laughing at you. Okay, that was oh, the okay. first. And then it, you can freeze it and defrost it. It's dishwasher and microwave safe. As, okay. uh, as Zud says in our chat room, it's for those of you who find making hamburgers just a little too difficult. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm making out here. I think you're the doing great, all right. The great pumpkin light, safer than candles, lasts 1,000 hours. I bet there's no battery in it. Is there, it a right? light? It's a, is there a battery in it? No. Uh, it is a flashing constant or strobe oh, orange God. light. That's just what I need. <laughs> Strobing orange light. Yeah, well, you know, for outside, just outside your new studio door. Oh, that's good. You could put it on the, it red. I could put it on the back of my trunk. Spray it red. Okay. Next I have. And there's more? Leo, there are 10 more things in this oh, box. Oh, God. All right. Item three. Wall graphics. Oh, it's this ugly monster that you an eighteen by twenty four foot, eighteen by twenty four inch. I was gonna say eighteen by twenty four foot. That's a big wall. <laughs> that is the ugliest thing I ever saw. Who wants that on yeah, their yeah. wall? Uh, yeah. So um, you just scary. stick it on your wall. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Remove. Fortunately, it's removable and reusable. <laughs> That's for okay. Halloween. That's yeah, right. you know, holy cow. There's more. My, my digital scrapbook kit. Oh, this, look it. Wow. Scrapping books, all those little decoration things, and, and a big scrapbook. Oh, well, that's pretty good. That right there is probably a 15 buck item. Yeah. So don't forget, the total of everything was. Does it have bucks. to be digital? I mean, is there something digital in there that makes it digital? Uh, let me see. It is my digital scrapbook. Oh, yeah, there's software in there. It comes with software. Yeah. So there. There you go. That Photo makes it digital. Software. Okay. That's item four. My item five. Smart energy light bulb. Is it an LED watts? light? Yeah, LED. No, it's not an LED light bulb. No, no, it's one of those compact fluorescent lights. Ah. But okay. a General Electric. That's okay, good. that's worth like a buck. That's a buck. That's a buck. You know what? This this is really this is a bad. this is a pretty good box of crap. Yeah. Photo inkjet photo album. Everything you need to create your own album. All right. 
Uh, LED flashing LED lighted key ring. Wow. Da -da 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 -da. Number With eight. Batteries. Yeah. And let me see. We're almost done. Oh, bathroom humor. Well, at oh, least Monty, Monty Python toilet paper. <laughs> okay. That one, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, Monty Python. Okay. And this may, that may be, oh, no. Hang item on. nine. Item nine. I'll be doggone a tail wagging tribute to man's best friend. Oh, well, that's good. It's a little doggy stories. <laughs> if I were the author of that, I might be a little offended that it was included, but uh, okay. It's uh, 401 fun facts about dogs. Well, see, so you're a dog lover. There you go. More puppies were born in Texas than any other state in 1994. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, that, that's... That's a fun fact. Wow, who... Who'd have thunk it? Uh, dogs are very sensitive to vibrations and can sense earth tremors well before humans. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dog facts. And then finally... There's two more? packages of vitamin mints. <laughs> okay, so they're little mints that contain vitamin B12, B2, vitamin C... Vitamin E, sugar-free. That's a you know, hey, Leah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Ten, You've got ten, ten items for ten bucks. Yeah. And I would say every one of those items worth more than a dollar. Yeah. You got the burger maker. You got yeah. the great pumpkin light. You got the mall wall graphics. You got the my digital scrapbook kit. The smart energy light bulb. You got the photo inkjet photo album. You got the LED lighted key ring, the Monty Python toilet paper, I'll be doggone book, and vitamin mints, all that for $15, including shipping. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm going to do a box of crap from the gadget warehouse. <laughs> so if you're, if you're interested, I've been That's a good funny. idea. Yeah. Yeah. If you're interested, just send me an email, dick at gizwiz.biz, and just put box of crap. And That's I'll tell you idea. when. It's up on my website, okay? Because I want to unload stuff too, and it it'll, it'll be a bar. It'll be maybe mad crap, maybe a piece of old crap. It'll be fun, fun crap. Now, um, one of the yes. ways Woot gets uh, a lot of attention for its box of crap is yes. every once in a while they'll put something really great, like a plasma TV, in there, right, John? Yeah, I don't think you're going to get a plasma a TV in the I gotta have that box of crap. No, I think there. I think there might be a part of a TV in here. There's some. <laughs> there's some piece of program. I get but the remote. Up, this I should have known that this was going to be a bargain because this was delivered to my house by a uniformed employee of the, of the United States government. government. <gasps> wow. Yep. Yep, the mailman brought me this. So I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I like that. Email dick at gizwiz.biz uh, if you want to uh, get in on Dick's uh, box of crap. Well, box of crap, and I'll tell you when you're not committing to anything. I'm just I'll use your email address to send you the Put details you the of, yeah. of what you exactly. Excellent. Exactly. Now it's time for my turn. It's turn the table Ooh. Tuesday. Dick, will you introduce? Yes. Oh, don't. Are we going to have your theme? Well, you start it, and I'll play the theme when you're done. Oh, okay. Only once in every podcast, and thankfully, we just do it once in this weekly Daily Gizwiz. We have a piece of crap from Mr. Leo Laporte. Oh, turn the wait, turkey. Uh, uh, turn, the turn the turkey. Trinket. Tuesdays. Yeah, that's right. There's, there's no, there's no Tuesday involved. Is there? They suggest in the chat room we call this Turn the Table Today. Er, yeah, Thursday, right? Thursday. No. Whatever. No, turn the Table what? Today. Oh, Turn the Table Today. Oh, yeah. okay. Today we're turning okay. the table. Actually, this is something I haven't... I thought I talked about. I was desperate, frankly. Every morning, every Saturday morning, I wake up desperate to find something to show. Because I don't get all the gadgets you do. I don't have the gadget history, the deep gadget knowledge. The Dick D. Bartolo wow. has. No. He's wow. the king. 
But mm -hmm. I happened to buy a piece of crap a couple of weeks ago. and I, <laughs> Okay, now you're talking my language. I spent good money for this piece of crap, and I thought I'd share it with you. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the N8. Do you know what that is? The N8. No. If I tell you the manufacturer is Nokia, does that help? Oh, is it their new cell phone? It is. It's their smartphone. This I saw this all over. Oh, this is a beaut. It is a beaut. I saw it all over uh, Europe when I was traveling uh, to in December uh, to Paris. It was the big product that had just come out, and I, I have to admit, I kind of fell for the ads because, uh, well, it's got a wow. twelve megapixel camera. In I was gonna say thing. this is not a. This is a pricey thing. Well, it was like five hundred bucks uh, unlocked. <laughs> Actually, I think four hundred unlocked from Amazon. Yeah, see, our our concept of crap is really different. Well, Dick, you I'll see, be honest. Like, yeah, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't. My, call, you're, what's your what's your idea of crap? No, I was going to say like my uh, my concept of a boat is my little twenty three foot work boat, yeah. and your concept of a boat is a two million dollar <laughs> yacht. So well, there again, we see there's a difference. <laughs> that's the difference. difference between you and me, Dick. I yeah. think big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I have so crap, I do? have big crap. Wait a minute, that came out wrong. This <laughs> is, uh, this. well, I'll tell you why I call it crap. For all the price and for the, all the value and the pretty impressive hardware and everything, Yeah. it's just, it's, it's too far behind to be a good smartphone. Now, this is the unlocked version, which means I could put a T-Mobile SIM in it, or I presume an AT&T SIM, although you might not get uh 3g on it it is a 3g phone here's the sim slot very easily accessible on the side there's another uh little opening that is for an sd card so it will also support additional memory from an sd card i think that's important usb charging via micro usb cable that's going to be the legal requirement in, in europe soon so uh, all european phones will have this usb micro charger it also has the traditional nokia little tiny plug charger so if you have one or actually it comes with one you can you you could still use your nokia charger on that um it has of course a standard three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack uh this is the on off button i'll turn it on and i'll unlock it this is the uh this is the lock screen it's just the time of day press the okay. unlock button and uh there's some software updates i won't do those right now you see it is it Pretty traditional smartphone. It's got right. the uh, the. Uh, is it using Android or? Well, that's therein lies the problem. Nokia just announced shortly after this came out, a one billion dollar deal with Microsoft to put Windows Phone Seven on their future smart handsets. This is running Symbian, the latest version of the Symbian uh, operating oh, system. Oh, okay. And uh, alas, Symbian hasn't kept up with the modern world. If this had come out a few years ago, I'd be say it's great. It's got widgets. It's a Facebook widget. Uh, it's got messages. Here are my contacts. I've got a browser of, uh, in here as well. In fact, let's let's go to a, a website here and uh, and take a look. I mean, it is a okay browser, but when you compare it to the Safari browser and the iPhone or even the built-in browser in Android, it's not quite as yeah. good, you know? It's just a little bit yeah. lacking. I think they're advertising coming soon, MySpace. Yeah, it's you feel so like you, know, you should be using you know, MySpace uh, on this it, thing. Bro. Now watch, I'm going to swipe it. It does have the swipe interface. Okay. And it is a capacitant screen, a uh, touch screen, but it's just not quite as responsive as you'd yeah, like it to be. It's a touch it just, of lag. It's a little yeah. bit of a lag. And I tell you, we're now so used to something so much more sophisticated that I have to say it's a little disappointing. You do log into your uh, accounts. You'll get your uh, Gmail. For instance, I got all the Google contacts. My Gmail is here and all of that. And it it's okay. It's just, it feels a little sluggish and slow and not, yeah. not quite as usable. You want to do this and stuff like that. And it'll do it. But notice it doesn't, it zoomed in on the text, but it didn't rewrap it. It's little oh. features like that that seem small, but you get used to them on a smartphone. And uh, and and frankly, uh, without it, it's just not as not as usable. It's not as fun. This is the home button. It brings you back to the home screen. You press this button down here, and you saw how long that took. Yeah, it's so close, Dick. I really want to like it, especially because of the twelve megapixel it's beautiful camera. Beautiful looking. It's a nice. Yeah. Are, are the pictures feel. gorgeous? Pictures are pretty good. Yeah, they're 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 good. Um, on the other hand, it takes so long to launch the camera, you might you might give up on on taking a picture. Is the only does it shoot video? It does shoot video. Mm -hmm. um, it's so close. I really wanted to yeah. like it, but frankly, 
uh, unfortunately, uh, Nokia, and now I understand why they did the deal with Microsoft. As uh, this is the top of the line uh, Symbian operating system, top of the line hardware, and it doesn't feel quite up. Doesn't feel modern. It feels just a little bit yeah, old fashioned. I know exactly. Yeah. I know. So I like it. Uh, I wish I could like it more. I'm a Symbian fan from way back. Remember the old Scions? That's what Symbian was based yes, on. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and just, just fantastic. The text is a little small to read. The user interface is just a little clunky. So, Leo, if you got it with a contract and, and not uh, unlocked like yours, would it be more reasonable? It would probably you know, be 200 bucks with contract, as most bucks, of these yeah. smartphones are. But nobody in the U.S. sells it with contract. It doesn't, oh, they don't I have see. a deal with any okay. U.S. carrier. Their, uh, their only deals are with uh, uh, European carriers, but you can buy it unlocked. 400 bucks is not, actually for a phone like this, is not bad. I think they, they, uh, they cut the price considerably because uh, there just wasn't as much uh, interest in this as they had hoped. Oh, Front look, they're showing Daily Gizwiz episode one. It's very old software. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a front-facing camera as well. Lots of great, great stuff in there, but... It's too little, too late, and so that's uh, that's my review of what I had high hopes for the Nokia N8 phone, yeah. and now you know I'm just keeping it around as an example of why uh, Nokia really had to do a deal with Microsoft to get a modern operating system. Yeah. You know, in the chat room, Leo uh, Eman says in Canada it's ninety nine dollars with a contract. Oh, all right, there you go. So, so one of the Canadian carriers does have it. Ninety nine's. You know, it's funny. They, uh, I would say they could. The hardware is well made enough that they probably could charge you know the 200 bucks that uh, the other smartphones cost but um you know it's cheaper than an iphone but you get what you pay for yeah exactly yeah, yeah you'd be very depressed standing next to someone in an iphone where everything is pretty <laughs> i really wanted to like this and you know what i try to do when i get a new phone is use it for at least a few weeks to give it the full benefit of the doubt i couldn't I try I know. Really you know, hard. it's very funny because I feel that way too. I, I feel that way for the manufacturer. It's like I owe it to you. Know, you spent all this money. Yeah. I want this to be good, but this it's, doesn't seem to work no, right. It's it's so inadequate that I wasn't even willing to use it for a couple of weeks. So that's my turn the table Tuesday. I, apparently in the UK you can get it free with contract now. So I think that's the market has <laughs> the market has <laughs> spoken. Uh, wow. Let me speak for a little bit about one of our great advertisers while you get ready to head to the warehouse because our warehouse yes. gadget of the week is coming up. You're listening to the weekly Daily Gizwiz with, with Dickie D and Leo too. And I want to thank our friends at Citrix. You know, we uh, one of the reasons we went to a weekly schedule is uh, because we wanted to, you know, get the support of our advertisers and they have really stepped up. Uh, thank you, Citrix. Thank you, Netflix, for supporting the weekly daily gizwiz we we love this show and we want to keep it on the air and it helps to have s some sponsorship so if you're interested in remote access i would love it if you would look at citrix and the great go to my pc new for ipad users the go to my pc for ipad is amazing it lets you control your mac or windows pc from an ipad on 3g or wi-fi and it gives you all the capabilities. You've got a keyboard on there. You can move the mouse around. It's kind of wild running Windows on an iPad. I have to tell you, you've got to try this. And the good news is the iPad app is free. And for the next 30 days, so does go to my PC. Just go to G-O-T-O-M-Y-P-C dot com slash gizwiz. Go to my PC dot com. Actually, maybe not slash gizwiz. Use a promo code gizwiz. Yeah, that's uh, that's... Uh, let me make sure I want to use the right promo code so the dick gets all the credit he deserves with go to my PC. Yeah, go to, no, no, look at that. Go to my PC.com slash gizwiz. I was right the first time. If you do that, uh, it's nice because uh, then Dick gets credit and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and we like that. If uh, you haven't tried it, you're going to be doing yourself a favor. It's the simplest, fastest, easiest to install. It does the best job. Uh, you don't need any IT support. Basically, all you have to do is visit the website, go to mypc.com slash gizwiz on a Mac or a PC, um, click the download button. Setup is completely automatic. It just takes two minutes. And then, once you've got it done, you can go to any computer, get the iPad app for free in the iTunes store, uh, visit go to mypc.com, enter the password, and boom, you're connected. You're seeing your computer. You could do anything you could do if you were at work. Send and receive email, run any network, any program, access any network resource. Try it free for 30 days. Go to mypc.com 
slash gizwiz. We're so pleased to have their support on the Daily Gizwiz Show. And now, if you would, turn the lights down low. Close your eyes. Put a bag over your head. Don a blindfold. <laughs> then enter a dark closet. Because we don't want you to see the magic location of Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Where am I? Where am I? They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, Bark! he takes them out to play. Ow! In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Is that your toe? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if he's here. I can't see him, but I think it's time <laughs> for Dick and his Gadget Warehouse of the Week. Leo, how are you, oh, I'm pal? Well, Dickie D, I can't see a thing. Oh, well, let me turn your lights on for you. I was actually going to try and turn on my pumpkin light, but I can't get it to work. I was oh. putting batteries in there. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. The great um, pumpkin light. Yes. So, Leo, this, this gadget is amazing in a very special way. It's mm. from Franklin, and it's the Franklin... Speaking language master, speaking language master, special edition, speaking. Can you add some more random I words? <laughs> I know. I looked at the serial number. <laughs> okay. Say okay. again. The yeah, yeah. Go back to oh, numbers. Okay. The Franklin speaking language master special edition dictionary. <laughs> Okay, okay. The Franklin Speaking Language Magical Master Edition Revolutionary Dictionary and... Dictionary. Pretty close, pretty close. Swizzle so it, it was made for uh, visually uh, handicapped so that you could actually... Every time you push a key, it says what key you push. Oh, all right, it, it, all right. Uh, it can pronounce words. Well, that's cool. But, Leah, what's amazing is I thought I'll do a web search. I looked on the back. It was uh, copyrighted 1985 through 1992. Yeah. And I thought, you know, there'll probably be something about it uh, on the internet. Leo, it's still for sale. It cost $450. Wow. The only, and, I, and, and I went to the Franklin website and printed out the instruction book to see if anything changed. One thing changed when you first bought it. It came with an audio cassette that told you how to use it. Yeah. And now it comes with a CD-ROM that tells you how to use it. <laughs> Outside of that, the device is exactly the same. Wow. And I could tell by some white ooze around the battery compartment. Oh, they're not even... Th this is like right off the shelf. Oh, yeah, that the Gizwiz forgot to take the batteries out. Oh, my but goodness, Gizwiz. I pried the batteries out with a screwdriver. I cleaned up the contacts, and it still works. I'm going to type in, uh, I'll type in Gizwiz. All right. All right. Space. And then I got to hit uh, enter. Correcting. And then it says correcting. Correction list seven entries. Oh, and it does not. It says, did you mean goose eggs? Did you, <laughs> did you mean goes wild? Evidently, it, it does not recognize is with. It has a very small vocabulary. Okay, well, it uses the uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Why don't it's you give good. it an actual word? Let's hear what it would okay. do. Okay, let's, uh, let me... Uh, no, uh, no, don't take a bye. Okay, give me a word. Um, and then spell it. Uh, let's see. Tractor. T R A C T O R. Tractor working. Definition. Okay, but then he doesn't speak the definition. Well, and wait a minute. Your wait a minute. That's a cheat, isn't Wait it? Wait a minute. That You're telling me it tells you when you hit the keys, tells you what you spell, but doesn't read you the definition? No. Isn't that a cheat? Wait a minute. Doesn't uh, For $400, oh, wait, 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 it could... Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Tractors. Sense one. And 
automotive vehicle that is for on four wheels or built like metal tracks and is used especially for drawing farm equipment. Sends to a motor truck with short chassis for hauling a trailer. <laughs> no, that wasn't bad. No, so so it I was no, going to say, if it doesn't read the definition, it, that would be There's terrible. a separate button to read what what it uh, has brought up. So, But isn't that amazing that a gadget that will be 22 years old next year has not changed and is still uh, selling for... I did a web search, and I see that you can get it for as low as 350 bucks. Wow. But... Well, let me. I, got, I let me press some buttons here. I just. I'm curious. I want to just play. Let me see if I, it has a, this game button here. Let me see what it. How about a nice game of chess? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. That was yeah. good. Let's see. Let's see. What it is. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what other stops does it go to? <laughs> Shall we play a game? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That, that's very Shall good. We play I like it. It, may, it can do quite a few things, I think. It says you can play a game with it. I wonder what games it has. Let's see what, let's see what game. Uh, da, 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 um, For $400, say, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, you know, with, there's no game key here. Hmm. Conf oh, what? Uh, Ram, class, CCs, dictionary, remember, add, list, say, message. Oh, well. Oh, I was right. just messing with oh, you. Wait, that, wait, wait, that, was, that was Whopper from uh, <laughs> the, the movie War Games. And by the way, it sounded pretty much the same. Yes, ex exactly. <laughs> Synthesizer. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? There's probably an app on the iPhone that would almost do the pretty much the same thing, wouldn't there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, for four hundred bucks, wow! Yeah, for yeah, yeah. the cheapest I, I saw it is three fifty. Wow, I think there's probably better stuff out there now. But it's yeah. interesting they're still finding a, a market. It is interesting that it's still on the Franklin website and on so many Amazons. J and R Music still carries wow. it. Yeah, kind of amazing. Normally, twenty years in gadget years is like prehistoric. It is indeed. Shall we play a game? <laughs> Let us get a letter, my friends, from yes. one of our fine listeners. Or two. Or Now, ladies and gentlemen, a letter from the Gizwiz. A letter, Leo, that hopefully you might be able to help this man with. Uh, Dick, my daughter and I met you last year at the Daily Gizwiz meetup at the Boat Basin Cafe. We now have a question. My daughter would like to ensure any picture she might post on any site does not include any location data. We both have iPhone 4s. I set my iPhone to ask before the photo was taken. I'm also using a Canon 50D. I don't see any geotagging features, but in capital letters, I might be wrong. Is there a foolproof way of making 100% sure there's no info on any picture file she might use online? Hmm. Thank you, Tom McLoughton. Do you know the answer? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I figured Leo would oh, know. Oh, I should know oh, okay. that. So she's, she's worried about... That something will have the location added without her knowing. The, way, feel, the yeah. way it does that is in uh, these tag... Uh, there's two kinds of tags that can be added to photos. The EXIF and the IPTC. And the truth is, if she opens the photo with Picasa, this is free, so maybe this is the way to do it, Mac or PC, Picasa, it will show all the tags. Oh. And so you could make sure that anything you didn't want, there's other information stored in there as well, it isn't revealed. Um, you can, on all phones, turn off location, um, you know, insertion into the phone, into the camera. All the camera apps let you turn that feature off for that reason. 
Um, but uh, but if she's uploading directly from the camera, uh, you be I would be very careful because uh, the camera knows the camera phone knows where you are. Uh, it does often, if you don't specifically say not to, upload to put the uh, geo geolocation information into the photo. And when you upload it to TwitPic or something like that, yeah, it'll be saved. So um, that's actually a very good question. I didn't expect a help question here. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, you, know, I thought, well, you threw you me know. a little bit, to be honest. Oh, sorry with you. about that. No, no, more help no I don't mind no that. Way. No, I don't mind that. I'm, it's, a, it's actually a, a very relevant question, uh, and I'm glad uh, that he's thinking about this because people, uh, what people don't realize is that a cell phone is the ideal geolocation device. The phone company knows where you are. Any law enforcement agency can use this without a warrant to find out exactly where you are. They just contact. The cell phone company, Sprint or Verizon or AT and T, and say, "Hey, where's uh, where's Dick right now?" And they will tell him. They just say, "Oh yeah, well his phone says he's here." So you are constantly being geolocated. Uh, you may not worry about law enforcement. You're probably more worried about predators, things like that. But uh, the phone knows and often reveals exactly where you are. We just found out this week that Pandora, the music player application, yeah, sends location information back. So Pandora I'm knows where you're you listening. Are. Yeah. Riff. Yeah. There are a lot oh. of programs that do that. I just found out, and I was shocked a week ago, that there's a program called Color that was very getting a lot of attention because they got $41 million in venture capital. It's just a picture program that shares any pictures you take with people who are nearby. The way it knows people are nearby is not through geolocation. It turns on the microphone in your phone and makes a profile of your location and then matches it to somebody who's near you to see if they're hearing the same thing. Wow. And in order to do this, it has to upload audio from your phone to their servers. Did you know that an application on an iPhone can, without warning you, turn on your microphone? No. Neither did I. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I immediately erased the program. But the fact is, there, there, there could be dozens of other programs that do that. Nobody uh, tells you. Well, you just did. <laughs> I know. So... Uh, if that's what you're concerned about, um, you should check the camera. Make sure you've got location, locationing taken, you know, not on in the in the camera. Uh, if you're really concerned, you should not upload it directly from the phone, but upload it uh, later after the fact from your computer after sanitizing the issue, the uh, image. Okay. Okay, I'll okay. do one more. Nicole says, I love your show. I thought you guys made a kick, uh, would get a kick out of this. I'm tempted to get one. Did you know that the Commodore 64 is coming back? Did you know this, Leo? I did, and I have some thoughts about that, too. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they're, ahead, they're, they're at CommodoreUSA.net. And she says it's a modern computer housed inside the keyboard computer combo with the old-fashioned look of the C64. It has a dual-core atom processor. Oh, my God. It's also taking over our entire show. Stand back. It's Commodore. So just so you know, it's just a PC. Yes. I mean... Uh, it, it, I guess it's from Commodore, although remember the Commodore name and the Amiga name were purchased by another company, which is reselling these. And oh, okay. What yeah, I think it's Aunt Jemima. <laughs> yeah, might as well be. What they've done <laughs> is they've built a box that looks like a C64, and they've put an IBM PC compatible in there running an Atom chip. It's a Windows machine. But what they have done that's kind of cool is they put in a Commodore 64 emulator software in there. So you can run Commodore Basic and Commodore games using an oh, that's it's, fun. It's that's using fun. an emulator, but you can do that on any computer. You can even do that on an iPad or many phones. Well, so, Leo, I, I gave a quick look. It looks pricey for what it is. Well, that, that's and kind of my point. How much are they charging? Uh, you know what? Uh, let me go, press, let me press the, the buy button. now. Yeah, and um, then go to the bottom. I think it was as high starts as two fifty to nine hundred bucks. What it is, just so you know is a netbook inside a Commodore keyboard clone. And without a monitor, right? We're right. talking, no you know, at least a netbook has yeah. a monitor. No monitor. You do, you know, the, the $895 version has a terabyte hard drive. It's got a big, and a Blu-ray player. 
I'm oh, not okay. sure I'd really want to play Blu-ray movies on my C64. <laughs> um, the more expensive ones have four gigabytes of memory. The smaller ones have two gigabytes. It does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I mean, it's a PC. But the, the Atom process is not terribly powerful. No, it's not right? a fast PC. And for that price, you can get a much better PC. And you absolutely can run Commodore 64 software on any Windows machine because that's just an emulator it's running. Oh, okay. So I, okay. I'll be honest, uh, it's cool if you really want the C64 look, impress your friends, but I'm not sure it's a good, you're right, it's not a great deal. It's, it's, a, net, yeah. it's a netbook. So you're not going to have one on your $2 million yacht? No, but I might, it might be kind of fun to have one on the, uh, on the new set. The set yeah. Because uh, nobody, you know, if you look at it, it looks just like a C64. You wouldn't know no, the that's, difference. It is kind of fun. Oh, that by the way, not fun. running Windows. Thank you. It's running Linux. Oh, oh, so, oh. <laughs> That's What's the cheapest you can get it for? 250 bucks. Oh, okay. And that you could put on the set. That's what they call a bare bones system. It has the case, the chassis, the keyboard, a card reader, and that's it. No, oh, no, oh, oh, no that. processor. Actually, that's basically, that's the keyboard by itself. Let's see. Here's the basic system that does, in fact, include memory, a motherboard, a chip, and a hard drive, 160 gig hard drive. That's 600 bucks. See, Boy, that's up there. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Okay. I can't recommend it. It's got a great nostalgia feel to it. A lot of people sent me this email, and I thought, well, that's interesting, but I'm not sure I'd run out and buy one. No, me either. Yeah, I thought my you know. Atari 800. And I'm surprised. I thought it was running Windows. I didn't. Re of course, uh, I should. I should look closely. It comes with Ubuntu 10.04, but you could run, put Windows on it. You just don't get Windows with it. Yeah. Well, thank you mm -hmm. very much, Rickster Rick. Ribartolo. Yes. You are a god among men. And <laughs> we should talk again next week. I'll I'm... be here. Okay. <laughs> a weekly daily gives this. A weekly gives this.